Hey, what's going on guys? So today, we are going to be painting the roll cage in the FRS. I got my boy Cordero here to come and help out. What's up guys? This is gonna be a pain in the ass, it's fucking rain. You told me not to curse. <laughs> yeah, you better not curse. <laughs> With this amount of garage space, I don't know how we're gonna be able to crawl in and out of the car to paint it. So we're gonna try to fit the car this way. I think it's possible. Race car. Anything's possible if you believe. So were you sleeping? No. Not no. Here, <laughs> so you're just chilling in your room and yeah, you literally thought that right. someone was stealing the car. Yes. Well, <laughs> I'm going home right now, so. That's, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> okay, so to start off, we're going to just take out the seats and the harnesses so we get enough space to be able to crawl in and out of the car to paint. Protect those helmets, boy. <laughs> Steven, Steven, come and get your hat. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. Before the last event, Joan spent a long time putting electrical tape over the bars so we don't get rust and stuff on our pants when we get in and out of the car. So I'm sorry, Joan, but we're removing this electrical tape. Chris is a beast and knocked out that other side super quick. So the seats are unbolted, now it's just time to take them out. It's like a puzzle. Look at you, Cordero. <laughs> Those muscles. <laughs> you just dented their wall, Cordero. <laughs> Oh, Rocket Bunny Fenders. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Who in their right mind would put a chandelier this low? What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no seats. Put your hands on the steering wheel, how does it look? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, that's funny. <laughs> so I want to be resourceful and Chris has some plastic tarp left over from when he moved in. Might as well just use that to mask off certain parts of the car that we don't want to get the paint on. What are you doing down there, Chris? Oh, I'm just getting a hole in the there. <laughs> so we got the tarp in the car. We just fed it underneath the cage all the way through the car. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, my favorite part, crawling through the trunk of the car. <laughs> oh god, my, my leg! <laughs> Joan, I'm gonna need your help! Ah, muscles, boy! Oh god, thank you! <sighs> okay, so I believe that we have the whole interior of the car masked off. You guys are probably gonna laugh when you see it, but hey, it's gonna protect it from overspray. So we wrap the whole interior with plastic from Chris. Thank you, Chris, again for that. And then just literally covered any bare metal with, you know, anything that we could find in the garage. And I think this is gonna work. This is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> so it's gotten a little too dark outside and the lighting isn't the best for filming. So I'm gonna come back bright and early in the morning, prep the cage by taking all the surface rust off, and then we'll start painting. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Morning. Morning, Cordero. <laughs> Joan made us breakfast. What a bro. We had a nice hearty breakfast, courtesy of Joan. Now it is time to start prepping the cage for paint. So what we're gonna use is basically a bunch of scotch bright pads and lacquer thinner to take off all of the surface rust 
that you see on the metal of the cage. So we're gonna tackle spray painting the cage sections at a time. So where this harness bar runs across, we're just gonna tackle all of that going back. As you can see, Joan and Cordero did a really good job prepping this metal. Like there's barely any surface rust on all of this metal back here. You guys are pros. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so here goes nothing. We're gonna start spraying. Cordero and I got the door bars all prepped for paint. Now it's time to paint it. Okay, so we have the majority of the cage painted. Now we're pulling out all of the plastic so we can use a foam brush to get in the tight spots that we can't really spray on. Oh my gosh, so it's been about, what, maybe six or seven hours that we've been out here today? Taking a lot longer than we had anticipated. A lot longer than Joan's 30 minutes that he had said. But we have the whole cage painted and it's looking pretty good. With everything in life, there needs to be a balance, and all of us here need to study for, you know, exams that we have coming up. So we're gonna actually leave the car for today, come back tomorrow morning yet again, and then finish it out. And of course, the paint on the roll cage needs to dry before we start putting all of the interior back in. So coming back tomorrow morning to finish it out is probably a good idea. We'll see you then. So we got the driver's seat in, still have to adjust the harnesses, which are a pain in the butt. So now it's just time to throw in the passenger seat. So Joan went to town with putting the harnesses in while I had to go run to Ace to pick up some new bolts that I accidentally stripped that connected the seat to the car. So the FRS is basically done. Now we just gotta pull it out of the garage and take it out for a spin with the newly painted cage. So since we've been in and out of the car all weekend, tracking dirt everywhere, we're actually gonna head to a car wash that supposedly has free vacuum so we can vacuum out the inside of the car. So we weren't able to get the interior as clean as we wanted, but you could still see how nice the cage looks. Joan's JDM electrical tape steering wheel mod looks good. We finally got the roll cage painted, so it is ready for its next event, which will be this weekend at the Orlando Speed World. If any of you Florida guys are interested in going, I'll drop a link down below. Should I head out there and you know, I'll try to see if I can get you a ride along. So before I sign off with this video, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Joan, AKA, my crew chief for helping me out with the car this whole weekend. Every minute that I was out here working on it, he was right next to me helping out. <laughs> and I wanna give another big shout out to my boys, Cordero and Chris. Thank you guys so much for your help. Well, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you all next time. Joan, you gotta say peace with me.
say bye. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.